Hey, it's Nathan from True Words Baptist Church. I want to give you three tips on how to be a better soul winner. You know, when I first started soul winning, I saw other soul winners doing an awesome job at preaching the gospel. And I thought to myself, you know, I'd love to be able to do that, right? I had a great desire to be able to effectively communicate the gospel message and get people saved. But at the same time, I'm not an outgoing person and I'm not much of a talker. And I knew the only way I would ever be able to be an effective soul winner was through the power of God because I didn't have much confidence in myself and I I never really thought that I'd be able to get to that same level uh, as some of those other soul winners. And so these are three tips that really helped me become a better soul winner. Number one is simply ask God, right? Just ask him to help you become a better soul winner, to, to be a better communicator of the gospel. In James 1 verse 5, it says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. So when you're asking God to, to be a better soul winner, right? What are you asking? You're asking something that's within his will, right? He wants all men to be saved. So of course, he's going to help you be a better soul winner if you simply ask him. And when you have that desire to, for people to get saved and you're doing it for the right reason, right? For God's glory, not for your own, it's going to help you uh, just to become a better soul winner. And so number two is memorize scripture, right? When you memorize the word of God, it gives you more confidence when you're out preaching the gospel. And in Colossians 3.16, it says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So, you know, we want to memorize the Word of God. So when we're out there preaching the gospel, let's say maybe you forgot your soul winning material or, you know, uh, you forgot your Bible or something like that. Guess what? If you memorize those verses that you use to preach the gospel, you know, you have it memorized, you're going to still be able to preach the gospel with confidence even though you don't have it written down right in front of you. And so, you know, just memorize that scripture. Number three is remove yourself, right? Remove yourself. And in John 3.30, this is John the Baptist. He said, he must increase, but I must decrease. Who is he, t- who is he talking about? He's talking about Jesus Christ must increase, but he himself must decrease. And so when we're out preaching the gospel, And soul winning, why are we there? We're there to point people to Jesus Christ, right? We're there to please our Father in heaven. We're doing the work that He wants us to do. We're not impressing other people, not impressing our pastor, right? We don't want to lift ourselves up. We want to lift Jesus Christ up. And in 1 Corinthians 2, 4, it says, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. So we need to remove ourselves when we're preaching the gospel, make sure we're pointing them to Jesus Christ and him alone. Right. And when we do that, God's going to help us be better soul winners. So number one, ask God, he's going to help you to become a better soul winner. Number two is memorize scripture. It gives you confidence when you're preaching the gospel. And number three, remove yourself and let Jesus Christ be exalted. So those are three tips. I hope they help you. Have a good rest of your day.